Hello! How's everyone doing tonight? Happy to see everyone here. Uh, if you are here, that is. Let's switch on over to the game. While we uh, set up the options here and just give everybody another minute or two to make their way in. Not gonna... Not gonna hang out too long here, uh, just on the menu screen, but what do we got? We got vibrations on and off. Yeah, we want that on. Why wouldn't we? The brightness slider, I mean, sure, whatever, right around the middle looks, uh, looks good enough to me. We'll just leave that alone. The screen adjust, ooh, ooh buddy, uh, yeah, I mean, that looks fine. <laughs> oh, what kind of sound? Oh, stereo reversed? That's weird. I guess maybe if you accidentally hooked your speakers up wrong, you could uh, turn it around the other way. Sure. Why not, you know? I don't know uh, any other reason why you'd want to have your stereo channels reversed on the uh, the output there. Like, because then everything that was on the left side would sound like it was on the right and on the right on the left. And it would just be fucking weird, dude. Like, <laughs> I couldn't imagine actually trying to play like that. But then again, like I said, if you accidentally hooked your surround sound system up wrong and for some reason you refuse to fix it, then I guess that's uh, that's one way to deal with it, right? Just uh, swap your output. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't get it. But finally getting to play Cyberpunk with all the DLCs and updates. Also, you love this Pac-Man game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as far as that goes, I'm pretty sure it was this one that I actually played back in the day as we uh, get started here into the new game. I... Uh, it was one of the Pac-Man World games. It was either two or three, I'm pretty sure. And if I remember correctly, I actually played it on the GameCube. Hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you for the five bits right off the top there. Appreciate it, love. Um, but yeah, one of the Pac-Man game, Pac-Man World games I did play back in the day. I'm pretty sure it was this one, but I'm pretty sure it was on the GameCube. And I actually did complete it. Like, I, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I remember there being some parts that were a little iffy but serious danger the ghosts have unwittingly unleashed an ancient evil upon us by removing the golden fruit from the tree according to this book our ancestors fought against this very evil in ancient times the great wizard pack created a powerful potion that turned five fruit from pack land into the golden fruit that was stolen today armed with these magical fruit and a great deal of bravery sir Pacalot faced the all-powerful ghost known as Spooky. Sir Pacalot defeated Spooky and imprisoned him. And he has remained there until now. Pac-Man, the golden fruit are in the hands of the devious ghosts, and Spooky is on the loose again. You must retrieve the golden fruit and defeat Spooky, or all of Pac-Land will be doomed. I was on the cutscene play since it didn't have any subtitles there. Uh, same GameCube, don't know if it was two or three you played first, but I ended up playing both. I only ever played one of them. Like I say, I think, I thought it was this one, but that intro doesn't look too familiar. Once I play the first few levels, though, I think I'll, I think I'll know. Um, yeah, I can't remember for sure. Regardless, though, whichever one it was, I really, really enjoyed it. And I actually want to play all three of them now. Uh, Pac-Man World 1 was a PS1 exclusive, if I remember correctly. And then, of course, there's 2 and 3, which were on GameCube and PS2, I think. They were both on both. And then maybe Xbox? I don't really know, though. Pac-Man, welcome to Pac-Village, the heart of Pac-Land. You have a long adventure ahead of you, but you can always return home for some diversion. The arcade is the building to the right. Sue is usually there taking care of things. She can give you a tour of the arcade if you like. Now on to more important matters. Here is a health wedge. Eat these to cure your health. You cannot pick them up if you are not hurt. Ah, pack dots. These are another way to gain health. E50 to get one health wedge. This is a valuable extra life. Make sure to search these out and grab them. Here is a token. Collecting these will unlock games in the arcade. Go talk to Sue in the arcade for more information. Finally, here is the exit from Pack Village. See that glowing pack dot there? That is a power pellet. When you eat a power pellet, ghosts will turn blue and you can eat them. Ghosts will hurt you if you touch them when they are not blue. Good luck, Pac-Man. I mean, Pack Village here looks pretty familiar. But... I don't know, like, if it just looks familiar because, you know... Because <laughs> it's Pack Village or if it looks familiar because this is the one that I played before. 
Hi, who are you? Sorry, Pac-Man. The ghosts vandalized the museum when they stole the golden fruit. We need 150 tokens to complete the repairs. Come back when you have enough. Okay. Probably do that. And then was this the, uh, the arcade? So, if I remember correctly, in the arcade you can play, like, some classic Namco games, right? Once you unlock the tokens for it or whatever. My name is Sue, and I usually hear running things. You can play these games by collecting tokens found throughout pa Pac-Land. Let me tell you a little bit about each of the games in the arcade. Pac-Man was first released in the arcade in 1980. You'll need 10 tokens to play. Pac-Attack was first released for consoles in 1993. You need 30 tokens. You can play different music selections from the game here. You will need 60 tokens to play the jukebox. Pac-Mania was first released in the arcade in 1988. You will need 100 to play Pac-Mania. Miss Pac-Man was first released in the arcade in 1981. You will need 180 tokens to play Miss Pac-Man. Play the Pac-Man World 2 mazes here after you complete them in the game. However, I've already unlocked the first maze just for you. Ah, how sweet of her. It would have been cool if they had some, like, non-Pac-Man games in there. I didn't think they did, but still. I mean, since it's Namco, you know, they had all kinds of cool, uh... Whatchamacallits back in the day. Cool arcade games. They could have totally included one or two of them if they wanted to. Uh, I didn't mean to actually pick that up just yet because I saw some 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 pellets back there. I don't know why I'm obsessing about picking up all the pellets, but can we actually... Yeah, we can actually explore the little village here a little bit. Okay, let's totally do that. See, we already got our first token. That's why we got to do it. <laughs> I think it may have been this one that I played. Um, the the exit to the village right there looked really familiar. Like, really familiar, man. Oh, there's another token over there. How do we, uh, is it circle? Triangle. Square? Nope, square jumps back. I want to go down. Just let, let go of the ledge. Let, let go of the ledge. Hold down an X? Nope, okay. <laughs> uh... Hey, what's up, Doris Lady? How do we go down? I want to let go of the ledge, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> let me let go. Oh, that's right. We can, like, booty bounce, too. I forgot about the booty bouncing, man. You can do that all over the place. Hell yeah. I kind of remember that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was this one. Just the more I'm playing it, the more it reminds me of the one that I that I remember playing when I was younger. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it was this one. Heck yes. Get that extra life, too. Pick that up, for sure. And another token. Dude, we're gonna have all, like, 200 tokens or whatever before we even leave Pack Village. Look at that. Get all the shit. I wanna say I 100%ed this game back in the day, but I'm not actually sure if that's true or not. I may, uh... I may be misremembering that. I... <laughs> uh... Nobody saw that, right? That was, uh, that was all in your imagination. Nothing happened to that dog. That dog is perfectly fine. <laughs> I do wish the one thing that I would change is that I'd make it a little bit easier to pick up those, uh, those pellets. So, like, just so there you can pick them up from, like, a bigger range around Pac-Man. I'm glad you don't have to be, like, literally right on top of them, but if they gave you just a little bit more of a leeway with it, I think that would have been nice. Make it a little bit easier for for you to collect everything. Uh, yes, all the fruit, please. And what's this, strawberry? I like strawberries. Uh, getting stuck. Yes. Give me all the fruits, please. Bro, how do we get that one? Like a freaking boss, that's how you get that one. Now how do we get over there? We jump. Jesus, that was scary. Can we jump from up here? Oh, yes, we got it. Oh, no, 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 don't roll off. Damn it. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we missed the, the strawberry and what's that, a prickly pear? I don't, I don't really know what fruit this is meant to be, but we missed that anyways. We had we had to come back this way. We had no choice but to do it. Oh, damn, we missed an entire token over here? How we how how we just missing entire tokens out here now? Uh, so can we jump 
Well, first, can we get on the fence, maybe? Thank you. And then can we go... No, don't fall off the freaking thing. Just go. Yeah. There we go. All strawberries collected. Nice. Uh, is this the last cherry, maybe? Nope. There must be another one somewhere. Looks like an apple over there. Uh, I guess we can't stand on that. Oh, that did not hurt me. Pac-Man's fine. Who's a freaking boss? He ain't gonna be hurt by no little... No little, uh, fall from some, some building tops. How? Maybe from the tree? Uh, okay, so the camera? Not amazing. <laughs> it, it's getting the job done, I suppose, but, uh, it's definitely a bit of a struggle here from time to time. Okay, we can just go straight through that tree. That's not what I was expecting. I was hoping to be able to get, you know, over to here. Thank you. All right, looks like we can probably jump from down there. Up. There we go. All cherries. Nice. Uh, Pac-Man, look, I know you're like a giant ball and all, but do you really have to just roll off of the the top of the house all the time? You're not, you're not Sonic, man. I'm sorry. It's true, though. No! How do we get up there? Trash. There's gotta be... Oh. 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 Nope. Okay. I call shenanigans. Is there a first-person camera? No, there's close and far. So what are we missing? Can we press, like, select or anything to tell us? Start. Start tells us. So wait, our, no, there can't be six of each because we already have like seven prickly pears or whatever. Hmm. We're missing a couple. Oh boy, there's one up there. It's all the way at the top of that big tree. How? Maybe we come back later. I don't think you ever get power-ups in this game, right? Like like the ability to double jump or, or, or get like high jump or anything like that. I don't think that's a thing in this game. Not that I remember at least. Can we go up there, maybe? Nope. I don't think we can jump that high. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, man. We're missing something. But I don't remember what it is, so... We're gonna move on. As much as I want to collect everything, and the inner completionist in me is telling me that I have to. Um... Yeah, some of these spots I just don't know how to get to. I don't remember. It's been way too long. Bro, that jingle will be forever stuck in my head. Literally forever. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll save. <laughs> Guess it helps if you look at the screen a little bit whenever uh, things come up there, huh? Oh, this map is looking super familiar, man. Okay, so we are missing the one apple, the one prickly pear. And somehow we were missing eight of those. They must have been on top of one of the buildings. There must have been a bunch more of the... The pack fruits, the pack dots, whatever, what do you call them? Pack mayor told us? I don't know. They had some sort of fancy name. This is looking super familiar. Like, already. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is the one, man. This is the one that I played on the GameCube back in the day. This is just, this is looking too familiar to not be the same one, you know? Oh, man, if that's the case, I remember, I forget exactly which world it was. But it was like this misty... It reminded me of like the, the ghost houses in Mario Kart for some reason. It was like misty, swampy sort of level. And uh, you were jumping between a bunch of different platforms. And I just remember it being like bugged out at one point and just irritating the shit out of me. Like, <laughs> all in all, I really liked the game, don't get me wrong. But I just remember being really mad about this one specific spot. To jump, simply press the X button. I think we can handle that. If you're hanging from a ledge, you can pull yourself up with X or jump off with square. Yeah, I wish it didn't, like, push you backwards. I wish it would just, like, let go. Because sometimes, uh, you just want to fall down, you know? You don't want to, you don't want to jump backwards. Sometimes you don't want to go up. Sometimes you just want to jump off, man, or, or fall. Booty blasting. I didn't see what it was officially called, but as far as I'm concerned, that is its real name. Le booty bash. Is there anything down here? Crates can be open if you butt bounce. Yeah, whatever. Go away, sign. 
Yeah, no, I don't see anything down there. Oh, okay. Oh, but we got another crate. Who puts a single strawberry in a crate, man? Try out the bug bounce on that pack cub, but be careful. Okay. Nope. Hold on. Let me get that. Hey, that worked. Pay close attention, however. You may have to use other types of attacks to deal with other enemies. Uh, what other kind of attacks are there? There's definitely nothing else we can do. Holy shit. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of forgot we could do that, to be honest, until now. Circle doesn't do anything. Triangle doesn't do anything. So I think that's it. We just have the, the charge up thing and the booty blaster. Booty blast 9,000. What are you? Looks like this hill is too steep to walk up. Try and rev roll up it by holding the square. Aim and then release. Let's go. But bounce on switches to activate them. They will help you on your quest. Hey, and then we follow the path, right? Yeah. Yeah, this this has got to be the one I played, man. This this is way too familiar to not be that one, you know? Ooh, I hear... I hear a shiny, a sparkly. Is it in here? No, this is too far away. Where's the sparkly, shiny thing? Watch out for thorny plants. They will hurt you if you touch them. And that was it right there. <laughs> it was right in view the entire time. It turns out I'm just entirely blind. That's all. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, well, we're gonna try to collect the apple if I could freaking grab it, man. I don't know if it's nostalgia or if this game just looked a little bit better on GameCube, but I do remember it looking just a little bit better. And I'm not talking like a massive difference between how I remember it and how it looks right now. But I just remember everything being a little bit more clear. But if I remember correctly, the GameCube is actually more powerful than, uh... Hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you for another five bits, man. Appreciate that. That was, uh, two sets of bits back to back. Thank you, love. Um, what was I saying? I forget what I was saying. <laughs> Shit. Oh, it's completely, completely lost now. I, I can't remember at all. <laughs> Holy crap. Nah, I don't know. Whatever. It's going to bug me. Just I just completely lost my train of thought. While swimming, press the square button to swim down and press the X button to swim up. Go for a dip. Uh, But what if I don't want to go up? Can I, can I collect that thing, please? Thank you. Let's go. Uh, camera, hello? <laughs> There's gotta be a way to, to, to hit that, right? If you're on the surface of the water while swimming, you can jump out of the water by pressing the X button. Very nice, but is there a way for me to collect stuff underwater, like an underwater attack or something? There's got, I feel like there should be a way for me to, uh, for me to collect that shit from under the water there. You think three was the one you played the hell out of, Nate? Yeah, this is, this is definitely the one that I played. Like, there's no doubt in my mind at this point. Unless, uh, two and three share the same first couple of levels, this has got to be it. This just looks exactly like the one I remember playing. Oh, orange is collected. Very nice. Chest can be open if you have a fruit of the type shown on the chest. Grab the orange and give it a try. Done. Aw, oh, come on, man. Yes, I know we can jump. I just want to collect the freaking strawberry. Thank you. <laughs> that was way harder than it really had any business being. Use the steel ball power up to become invulnerable and to walk underwater. Work fast, though. That's how you get the ones underground here. Yes, okay, there's one. Melons, they're melons, man. I don't know, I I like prickly pear. I'm gonna keep calling them a prickly pear. <laughs> Add an extra life, very nice. Is there a way to maybe get rid of this power up? So we can, uh, so we can go back up? Nah, I guess we just gotta wait out the timer, that's fine. At least it's not like something crazy. A five minute timer or something stupid. 
Oh, it's just another metal ball. He's giving us all the metal balls, eh? Congratulations, I didn't read the sign. You have made it to the level completion portal. Step into it and it will finish the level. Okay. Y'all dead. I think we collected everything for that one, right? 100%. All right, I was kind of hoping that Rue would make it here before I started talking about it. But for the community day tomorrow, everyone, uh, the time that we'll be starting is roughly probably 6.30 Eastern time. And uh, we'll just be hanging out for the first, like, I don't know, maybe half hour. And then we'll take uh, about two hours and just play whatever the hell we want. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, Noodle. I, I wish you could be there, but uh, Noodle's got to work tomorrow, sadly. And I know that Rue's got to work tomorrow. It's kind of shitty. Uh, <laughs> if we uh, if we get the 12-hour stream uh, incentive complete completed, then uh, maybe we'll do the 12-hour stream on a Saturday. Um, whenever Rue has it off. Although with that said, Mr. Noodle doesn't usually get Saturdays off, so it's kind of it's kind of rough. Hey, speak of the devil. Thank you very much for the 2,000 bits or not bits, 2,000 bits. Uh, I mean, hell, that'd be awesome too. But no. The 2,000 retro points donated there, man. I appreciate that for the uh, for the community challenge. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully sooner or later we can all have a day off together again, or uh, maybe we'll take a night, one of these nights too, just to play a little bit of games together too. Because uh, I mean, it's just easier for us all to get together at night, you know. But yeah, so community stream will be tomorrow, starting around, like I said, 6.30, and then we'll be going till about 9, give or take. But I do have to pick Noodle up from work, so we can't be too much longer than that. We'll definitely be playing, as long as there's more than, you know, two of us here, we'll definitely be playing Cards Against Humanity. Um, I know that... Uh, I know that Rue was wanting to play Kahoot, so we'll probably play Kahoot. Um, as long as Rue ends up making it out. And apparently, I have to adjust my posture. So we're going to do that. And then, uh, reverse, reverse, huh? Okay. Okay. So, reverse, reverse is one of my new ones. But if I remember correctly, that one means I have to turn my controller upside down, right? That's what that one does. Oh, boy. Let's see. Controller or keyboard in a different orientation, upside down or sideways for five minutes. Yeah, I don't have a camera at the moment, so I can't really show it, but uh, <laughs> but I will definitely play with it. I think I'll try it sideways. I think sideways will be a little bit easier, a little awkward here. So I got the X circle triangle square button at the top, and then I got the, uh, the D-pad on the bottom, and I guess that's how we're going to try to play for the next uh, few minutes. New things to spend points on, and I trust you. Yeah, man, I uh, I talked about it the other stream, but you were out with family, so uh, totally understand, man, no problem. But uh, yeah, we got that one. You can force me to take my glasses off. You can make your own. Also, hey, Rue, uh, you didn't miss too, too much, just the, the first couple of levels. Um, what else was there? Uh, make me take my glasses off. You can... Uh, oh, you can, you can uh, create your own. So, like, if you do exclamation point PS2, all one word, uh, all lowercase in chat, the bot will pop up and, and, you know, talk about the PS2 gauntlet. Well, you can also make one of those for yourself if you want to. Um, it, uh, you, like you can, you can, it'll just be like a text thing or whatever that'll pop up. It could be like a quote. It could just be your name. It could be, uh, um, uh, I mean, there's other little things too, but like, <laughs> Hey, thank you for another 2,000 there, Rue, for the 12-hour uh, stream. I appreciate that, man. Uh, Y'all are blowing through this faster than I thought you would, to be honest. But I appreciate it. I really, really do. Um, what else? I'm, I'm sure there's other ones that I added on to. But yeah, there's a there's a fair few new point things in there. Uh, oh, boy. Okay. This is... Uh, this is... Oh, no. We're going to die. Uh, shit. Okay, so this is down. Uh, see, my right hand's normal. Actually, you know what? I'm going to play with the D-pad on top. Because I think I can get my head around that a little bit better. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can get my I can get my head around the D-pad being on top a little bit better, and then uh, playing backwards with my right hand on the the circle buttons and whatnot. Uh, still a little awkward though, and I am playing with the D-pad now instead of with the uh, the analog stick because of this. Also, what time is it? 11 after. Okay. So 16 after. Since I spent a lot of time talking, we'll, uh, we'll consider it started now instead of uh, then. How do I get all the way up there? You didn't know Pac-Man had a PS2 game? Yeah, uh, PS2 and GameCube. It's uh, Pac-Man World, so it's actually a 3D adventure game instead of like a, a traditional Pac-Man game. Um, oh, okay. I got to turn the camera. So I got to... Uh, that's... Okay. And then down. Hey, okay. Yep. Nope. Nope. I wanna. I wanna rotate it a little bit the other way, please. There we are. There we are. <laughs> Had a command. <laughs> Pizza pineapple. Don't turn it. Don't. Wait. What? Pizza pie. <laughs> I, I'm already reverse reversing. That's the problem, Rue. That's why I'm having so much trouble with the controller at the moment. I'm also trying to figure out what the hell y'all are. Pizza pineapple. I can't even fucking say it, man. <laughs> Pizza pineapple. Don't on on it. I, I don't go on it. Enough said. Got it. What's uh? What's the? Do it again. How how am I supposed to do it again? That would just put it back to normal. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. Oh, we're dead. We died. I'll start over the timer though. I can do that. Um, what do you want the, uh, the, the, what do you want the, uh, pizza, pineapple, don't go on it. Pineapple, don't go on pizza? Enough said? Pizza, pineapple, don't go on it. Man, I don't know. That's a real weird way to word it, but whatever you want it to be. <laughs> oh, you want the trigger word to be pizza. But then you want the command to be, don't go, a pineapple, don't go on it, enough said. Is that, is that what you want the command to be? <laughs> I'm ready to send you to the shadow realm. <laughs> You're about to get the rat. So this is how we lose all of our lives, by the way, because uh, this is awkward as hell. We already have instant death pits and my friendly child, or childhood friendly Kid friendly? I don't know, man. Family friendly Pac Man game. I almost said pineapple game. Y'all got me some kind of fucked up. I said I, the movement I'm not having too much trouble with, but like I can't hold the controller properly with both hands. I can only hold it properly with one. So I've chosen my right hand to be the one that's holding it wrong. And that's making it really hard to like move the camera, especially since I mostly just have to use the X button. It's not too bad for the regular running around and jumping stuff, but it's really bad for the fucking moving the camera or anything like that. <laughs> really messes that up, man. So maybe for that one gap, are we gonna have to like, we're gonna have to do like a, uh, a charge or something like that to get around it. Uh, okay, we squished the mean little dog, which is just kind of a little cold hearted. I said he had to beat me in a duel. <laughs> oh no. They do have the uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! PC game up now. We can have a, uh, a duel match, man. Winner gets shent, shent, sent to the Shadow Realm. Oh, how did, why did I not touch that checkpoint last time? Ugh. Come on. I just want the... I just want the orange. Give me the orange. Oh, buddy, that was close. Okay. I think we've collected everything so far. I don't think we've missed anything yet. Can we make that jump? Oh, we can. That one wasn't even all that bad, actually. I thought that was going to be way worse. Bro, I need you to win CAH for me tomorrow if you guys play. See, oh, Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> oh, the loser goes to the Shadow Realm. Duh. I don't know what I was thinking. My bad. So um, I think we have to, like, charge up and hit this guy, right? Oh. Uh, or maybe we just can't kill this guy. Oh, no. <laughs> 
Uh, I really wish I could turn the camera. Oh, okay, we're alive. No, don't go down there. Uh, all right, there we go. And then from here, we should be able to just jump back over here, right? And then, uh, my camera, not my camera, my monitor went black. My display port cable shit, and sometimes my monitor goes black. I would do so for you, Noodle. <laughs> Unlimited, no ban list. We play it like in the show. No holds barred because screw Konami's balancing. Have all the good cards, the Sacred Beast and the Wicked Beast. Oh no. <laughs> oh man. Y'all are crazy. I'm totally down to play Yu Gi Oh! one of these days, though, man. I need to uh, actually try out the game. I downloaded the PC game a while back, but I haven't actually tried it yet. Uh, hello, Mr. Dragon. I didn't appreciate that. Um, but I haven't actually tried it out yet. So I need to see, like, what cards they let you start with and how you get more packs. Do you have to, like, pay for more packs or do you unlock them through playing the game? I don't know if, uh... I don't know if you've tried it yet, Nate, if you know. But... What the hell? Oh, you're a ghost. Don't touch ghosts. Ghosts are losers. Are there any other... Any other ghosts? Or was it just the one? I think it was just the one. Stream is a sore loser and scheduled it when I'm working, so I can't win again. Damn straight. <laughs> you already won the one. You don't need to win again. <laughs> no, me and you work every day. At, like, one of us is working every day. It's impossible for us to get a day off, it feels like, together. So, trust me, love. I, I wish you could be there. I really, really do, but yeah. We went on a random collecting bench for a couple days in 2015. Just a couple, though. Just one or two. <laughs> he wants me to play because he isn't a sore loser like stream. Just finished tutorial. I haven't tried the actual game much yet. I hope it's good. Like, I really do. Like, the Pokemon client's pretty good, but I wish there were more ways to get packs. And the, uh, the Pokemon one and, like, a better single-player sort of deal or something. I th That would be nice, but, uh... Like, it's still pretty decent, though. I'm not gonna sit here and complain about a, a free online way to play my favorite card games, you know? You're gonna hopefully get some win days off soon? Yeah, hopefully. She talked to her uh, manager so that we would... Hopefully, like she said, fingers crossed, but hopefully we'll be able to get some Fridays off together. Or Fridays? Wednesdays, whatever. Whatever day it is. Ah, oh, you're leaving us. Have a nice night, uh, Doris Lady. I will see you Saturday, hopefully, for the baby shower. <laughs> oh, that's a big ass jump. All pack dots collected oh, already. Um, hello. Where is? Wasn't there like a thing up here somewhere or something? I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something, man. All right, and then, oh, that was way too close, man. Okay, what's that button do? Let's see what this button does before I try to collect all that other stuff. Nope, that like turns us mini or something. What, you didn't get an invite? You want cake? <laughs> I don't know if, or is cake normal in baby showers? I've only ever been to like two, so I don't actually know what's normal and what's not. All melons collected. Wait, did we not get all the strawberries? Also, I cannot see. Uh, I'm just gonna have to guess that, nope, that's not the right spot. Holy fuck. <laughs> I couldn't see, man. Uh, and it takes us all the way back to here. Oh God. I like fell off in the same spot last time too. Or almost fell off in the same spot last time. Okay. See you, bitch. I'm gonna break down some boxes so I can take them to the recycling thing tomorrow. So I'll try to pay attention as much as I can. That's all right, love. Do what you gotta do, and I appreciate it because, uh, yeah, the boxes are starting to pile up around here. How much longer do we got? Since you both donated, I guess we still got another, like, three minutes. Holy shit. I'm gonna die. Turns out playing with your controller sideways is a lot harder than one might have thought. <laughs> uh, by the way, we just... Wait, what? 
Satra seems to be that or some other bakery sweet that and some bomb sloppy joe shows up dude i do like me some sloppy joe and you're right i do feel like sloppy joe does show up a lot and uh well and get togethers of all sorts you know by the way we might just eat way too much pizza i mean we don't actually eat that much pizza it's once a week i feel like that's not way too much you know sloppy joe oh my god i can't wait what why are you laughing so much about that <laughs> why is sloppy joe like that funny it's just sloppy joe it's food read it again <laughs> sloopy joe okay <laughs> okay i see Is he dead? Hell yeah, he's dead. Uh. Oh, what is that? What is that? Prepare for maze. We got a maze and my controller's still sideways for three minutes. Uh. I'll admit, I don't remember this portion of the game. So this is just like classic pa Pac-Man BS, basically. What we're playing now. Okay. This is a little bit harder than expected with the controller sideways. We have a fruit target? I I don't know if I'm ready for that, man. Them fruit targets seem like some some high level play there. And uh, we are definitely not at that at that stage yet. Can we jump? We can't in this one. There was at least one home arcade Pac-Man game or whatever. Like one home Pac-Man game where you could jump over the ghosts and shit. I forget which one it was, but I definitely remember there being one. Uh, yeah, just line up for me. Perfect. Beautiful. Look at y'all go. Hate to see it, man. You would think the ghost would learn after a while. Like, hey, maybe we shouldn't chase this guy. He's fucking crazy. Like, he literally eats us. And not in the good way. <laughs> Sloopy. Stream can't read example 469. That actually sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting really hungry now. We had uh, deep fried french fries. And uh, I had salad. Noodle just had french fries, nothing else. <laughs> it was good though. It was good. We uh, we don't deep fry foods too often. So, yeah. It was a nice little uh, a nice little treat. We had, uh, the reason why we had the fryer out, the deep fryer out, was because we made homemade chicken wings the other day. And they were freaking delicious, man. Ah, wonderful. I, I love homemade uh, deep fried wings. Hey, Canes! Nice to see you, man. Wait, what if I can't take the boxes to the recycling thing? What do I do then? Why wouldn't you be able to take them to the recycling thing? Um, but if you can't, then I guess they'll just stay here for an extra day. And then we'll take them to recycling uh, the next time we're out together or whatever. I guess. I mean, I don't know what else we would do with it. Uh, Mr. Ghost Bro? Uh, you can calm your shit, please. We don't need none of- we don't need none of that jazz. We had turkey burgers, but oh my fucking god, that sounds good, bro. I couldn't agree more. Turkey burgers are the shit. Can make a funnel cake in a little bit and do it. Thank you for following, Jaden Fresh Hour. I appreciate it, man. There is a turkey on the loose. Wait, what? <laughs> Am I missing something? That's a hangout spot for it? I'm so confused. There's a turkey on the loose. That's a hangout spot for it? I, I'll admit you completely lost me, love. <laughs> the turkey. Oh, you mean like the one that's just running around town lately? What's the... That's a hangout spot for it, though, message about. Is our time up yet? It is. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> I can go back to playing normal now. That makes it so much easier. <laughs> when I can actually rotate the camera around and whatnot. It hangs out the recycling thing sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I gotcha. Uh, man, I really wish we could just turn the camera just a little bit. That would be really nice. 
I just want to make sure we didn't miss anything, but I'm pretty sure we did. I feel like we missed a strawberry or something. Oh well, I guess. Nothing we can do about it now. Why are you crying? Because I didn't know what you were talking about? <laughs> uh, want to save? Yes, we want to save. Of course we do. Of course we do. Uh, while I have you here, Rue and Canes and everyone, um, I mentioned it earlier in the stream, but I don't know who was here and who wasn't. And we missed cherries and strawberries. For the uh, community thing that we're doing tomorrow, how we're going to do it, I'm going to be starting around 6.30 my time. Uh, so that's Eastern Standard Time. And uh, we'll be going until about 9. We'll probably spend like the first half hour just hanging out or whatever. So to give everybody a chance to like come in. And then uh, we'll be playing some, at least a couple rounds of uh, Cards Against Humanity and a couple rounds of Kahoot. And then I don't know if we'll be playing anything else. Depends how much time we have and all that BS. But uh, yeah, it should be fun. I know Nate's going to try to make it. I know Rue's uh, talked about trying to make it as long as they are off of work in time. Um, and Noodle wants to be there. And if she can get like time on a break or something, she might be. But uh, she does work, sadly. So, yeah. But uh, anybody's welcome to join. Just uh, come on in in the stream. And you can get details on how to get into the games that we're playing there. And uh, there's also the Discord channel is up. There should be a link somewhere for that. Uh, and you can join the Discord if you want to be able to communicate with us a little bit better. But you don't have to. You don't have to join the Discord to play with uh, the community tomorrow. Sorry, focusing a little bit on collecting fruits. <laughs> Kane's Noodle, do you guys know much about the Batman games? Uh, you mean like the... I mean, I know you didn't ask me, but you mean the... Uh, the Arkham games? Like Arkham Asylum, Arkham Knight, Arkham whatever, those ones? I've only ever played the uh, the first one. I, I've never even beat it, to be honest with you. But I've played the first one, at least. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I remember playing the demo a lot when I was younger. Because they had it set up in one of the... Uh, at, I think it was at Walmart. They had the demo set up, and the combat just blew me away. Like, it was so cool. The 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 fluid... The, or the fluidity of the, uh, the combat. It was amazing. You know, Robert Pat streamer awesome. That's perfect. Well, I'm glad it works for your schedule, man. Robert Pattinson is the new Batman. You're so excited to see it. And I've heard really good things about it, too, Noodle. Like, I know you don't really care so much about, like, Batman movies in general or whatever. But, like, I'm excited because the reviews from uh, what my brother was telling me, the reviews for it are really good, too. So, that has me excited, personally. <laughs> Playing games with fans, heart? Hell yeah, dude. It's just a, it's a nice way to hang out with everyone, you know? And Cards Against Humanity is just a shit ton of fun, too. Um, I mean, sometimes <laughs> some of the cards aren't... Uh, yeah, but <laughs> it's good for a laugh. I like it. I like it. Wasn't there one for 64? A Batman game? I'm sure there was, but... There is a Superman 64 game. Yeah, that was uh, that was absolute garbage. <laughs> that's that's what that was. I'm sure there had to be at least one Batman game for the N64, though. I mean, Batman's a big franchise, you know? To stop in the middle of a rev roll, press the X button. Oh, so if you rev up but don't want to go the way you were going or whatever. Yeah, my one complaint about this game so far, man, is definitely just the camera is jank AF. Like, it is a bad freaking camera. <laughs> Holy shit. Yes, you love the combat system. Yeah, that's like the one thing I really remember about it. I want to go back through and replay the Batman games at some point. Well, like, actually play them, I guess, is, is the better way to put it. Because, like I said, I never really did. Um... But I haven't yet, so... Someday, hopefully. He said if it flopped, he's gonna do porn. <laughs> Oof, Noodle, you best be crying, or you're probably crying over that. For anyone who doesn't know, Noodle has a uh, obsession with Robert Pattinson. It's uh, slightly unhealthy. <laughs> Ooh, Metal Ball. 
Uh, it'd be nice if I could see my metal ball. Hey, we got a maze. Cool. <laughs> Man, I can watch him masturbate in the lighthouse if I really want. That's weird as fuck. Like, you also have to watch William Defoe masturbating, so. I mean, nothing against William Defoe. You could be into watching him masturbate for all I know. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, these ghosts are giving me the jukes, man. Almost got me trapped. You hate that card game and my answer to all of them are perfect and funny and you have like two or three points in a lifetime? Man, tell me about it. Noodle, the last time we played, it was uh, it was just myself, Nate, Noodle, and Rue. And uh, Noodle won every match that we played. I'm dead. Um... Like, by twice as much. Like, she had twice as many points as the rest of us. It was ridiculous. She had to have been cheating somehow. I don't know how the hell you cheat in Cards Against Humanity, but, uh, it was happening. I don't care. <laughs> but Robert actually masturbated? Did William? I'm fairly certain. I mean, I don't know. I haven't watched the movie. But I, I would not be surprised if William Defoe actually masturbated in uh, the lighthouse it's a weird movie man i don't my brother watched it though and said the movie's actually really good for as weird as it is apparently it's uh it's uh it's, it's a good movie i guess i don't know i'm a little iffy about it but <laughs> yeah two in a row she won both games too like you kicked ass at that game she really did it's annoying <laughs> I, my, I've only ever played Cards Against Humanity a handful of times, so I've probably only ever played like six matches in my life, but yeah, I've never won a, uh, a game of it. I've won like individual rounds, of course, but never, never a whole game. One fair and square. Mm. Oh yeah, I heard about that. The peep said that he was supposed to fake it, but he actually did it right. Yeah, so like Robert Pattinson, yeah, he, I guess he said something about it wanting it to be authentic uh, so he just straight up masturbated and then as far as William Defoe goes like I said I, I can't say for sure one way or another but I feel like he probably uh <laughs> I feel like he probably did I uh saw a very weird gif not too long ago with William Defoe I don't know where it came from but the caption was just uh gosh, I don't even remember what the caption was now Essentially, it was just like, if I have to watch, if I have to see this, then you have to see this. And obviously, my mind was just like, well, I'm going to click on it because, you know, like, <laughs> so I click on it and uh, it was just William Defoe dancing around completely naked. Besides, I think he might have had some socks on, but like, that was it. And uh, some, some lady just standing there like laughing. Uh, and that was, that was weird. It was a weird ass gift, but... It's a thing that I've seen now. <laughs> Can we get the fruit and the token, please? And thank you. Uh, so, like, there we go. This is how, that's how you uh, line up where you want to jump, man. You just, you just got to use the freaking, the charge thingy. Oh, don't fall in the water, Pac-Man. He said he wanted it to be believable. Yeah, no, I think he just has a, uh, like, a voyeur fetish or something like that. Or, uh, exhibitionist fetish, I guess. Voyeur's the other way around. Man's just wanted people to have to watch him masturbate. Right. <laughs> that sounds lovely. <laughs> you mean the William Dafoe thing, or... Oh, fuck me, dude. And of course, they wouldn't just put a flat... Oh, wait, you can just jump up right there. Uh... Okay, so wait, can we... Can we just, like, charge over there? Oh, sh... Oh, wait, we can just... I don't know if it's because we were booty bouncing or if we could actually just jump that the entire time. But I'm a little bit annoyed that it took me uh, that long to get over there now. I'm like... <laughs> Oh, you mean caught in public or just gets off with peeps watching? I, I meant just like gets off uh, with peeps watching. Obviously, I have no idea. That's just like, <laughs> that's somebody who was a uh, exhibitionist I or uh, or whatever. I feel like that would be their, you know, something they would say. 
You know, like, oh, I want this scene to be believable, so I have to masturbate for real on camera for everybody. <laughs> or in front of everybody. The William Defoe thing, haha. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a thing. It lives in my head now. <laughs> it's stuck right on in there. Doesn't go away. It's pretty great. Just waiting for Pac-Man to freaking lose his metal body armor here. I just realized I never put it together before, but they straight stole that from Mario 64, didn't they? The metal power up to go underwater like that. Um, at this point, I don't even know for sure which way we're supposed to be going. I guess this way, right? Do we actually have to, like, use the platforms? Or can we just... We can probably just go over there, I imagine, right? Like, uh, we can't grab that one, but can we grab one of these ones over here? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Oh, can we get up there? Great way to get followers. Talk about a naked dancing William Defoe and a R. Pat's <laughs> masturbating. I mean, look, there's a reason why we decided to leave the uh, the R rated, the the mature audience thing on. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, they are interesting topics. I'm with Rue. They're interesting. A little weird, maybe, but interesting topics nonetheless. I hope that that did not line up right. Shit. <laughs> oh, how much of that is it going to make us redo? Okay, just after the, the maze. That's not too bad. Now that we know, like, where we're actually going and what we're actually doing, all we got to do is go back over here, kill this dude. The way that camera, like, relocks is weird as shit. Um, all right, jump over here. Get the dots. Lay dipping dots. And then... There we go. Yeah, that was easy. That wasn't so bad this time. Our pats is always an interesting topic. I don't understand the obsession with him. <laughs> like, he's fine. I don't have a problem with him. But I don't think he's, like, the greatest thing since sliced bread. Oh my lord. Just grab the freaking wall, Pac-Man. Is that one too high? That one must be too high. Can we grab this one instead and then just jump over, I guess? Hopefully that'll work. Yeah, there we are. Your friends hate the Twilight memes I send them? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I can't blame them. Honestly, it was the second movie that killed the series for me. Makes me want to eat myself off a cliff now. I, uh, I was kind of into them when I was younger. Like, just to be completely honest, I didn't hate them when I was younger. But the older I've gotten, and the more I've realized, like, how abusive their relationship was and whatnot, and how, like, everybody was, like, looked up to it, I'm just like, now I'm just like, this is actually kind of cringe, man. And not, like, cringe just like, haha, that's so cringe, but, like, like, actually bad, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> cringe. Like, this is a, this is a bad thing to, to base your relationships off of, man. Like, this is actually kind of dangerous. And that's, uh, that's kind of what does it for me now. I never finished the books because, uh, they got a little too much for me after, I think I got, like, second, halfway through the second one before I kind of gave up on them. And then the movies, I did see all the movies, and, uh, yeah, they, they quickly quickly got to be a bit much, though. Like, Do we miss anything else? Uh, camera, if you want to cooperate a little bit with me, please. Just a little bit. You own all of them twice, she does. She has, like, the special editions, and then we got them all on Blu-ray for her. And all the books twice, and trivia board games. Yeah, she's a little bit obsessed, man. I'm way more interested in emotypes, especially Chris Motionless. Huh, I never looked at it that way, but I can see it. Yeah, man. Like, it's kind of gross. And I was reading this article one time. I forget exactly what the list was called, but it was, uh, it was a list of, like, uh, all of the, the, the ways to recognize a abusive relationship or something like that. And, uh, 
I forget their name, Edward, Edward and Bella, right? Their, uh, their relationship marked or ticked off all of them except for, like, two on the list of, like, ten or twelve or whatever. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty bad, man. <laughs> All right, I just looked over at our timer, guys, and noticed that we've been going for about an hour. So Twitch is going to make me run an ad here in just a few minutes, and I'd rather it not be in the middle of the footage, or the footage, the game, the the whatever. You know what I'm talking about, guys. So uh, we're going to take a quick break. I'm going to stand up, stretch, get a drink, do all that usual stuff. And then we'll, uh, we'll be right back with some more Pac-Man World 2 and BS in about, I don't know, Twilight, I guess. Oh, uh, look at it. <laughs> it's so good. All right, I'm excited. Mr. Noodle said, well, I got coffee in my eyes, so things changed. So here I am. How is your eye, love? Is it, is it feeling okay at least after you, <laughs> you dump some coffee in it? At least it wasn't hot, co hot coffee. That would have been even worse. I mean, not that having... Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back. That was a good stretch. I hope everybody else had a good stretch. Good stretch, good drink, whatever you need to do. I also got the uh, the command. I don't know, Nate, if you can hear or if you're too deep in uh, cyberpunk at the moment. But <laughs> but I got the command in as requested. It's there. It works now. Boo. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rue. If you want to, you can have your own command put into. As long as it's not uh, hateful or... Uh, I almost said condescending. Uh, that's not the word that I meant, though. Hateful or, 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 you know, whatever. Point is, you can have your own, and I will say they are case sensitive, so you could add your own pizza command if you want to. All you have to do is donate so many retro points, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> is Twitch not on Roku anymore? No, so that was actually a, uh, like a side-loaded Twitch app that I had on the Roku, love. Yeah, sorry about that. There's, a. Uh, no, no official app. There was like a, uh, a, a one made by somebody else that I had downloaded at 1.2, but um, I don't think that one's still available. I think it got removed at some point, sadly. Who would choose a giant or a vampire over a giant dog? Uh, I'm not getting into that conversation. Anyways, <laughs> Spooky says, you can't have that golden fruit thingy. My big froggy tongue should get you. As long as you pup bounce on it. Oh no! We gotta booty blast his tongue! Booty blast that tongue for days! It's <laughs> a weird fucking boss, man. Just gotta, just gotta booty blast his tongue. Ah, no, get on top of it. Oh, it's moving around. Okay. I see, I see. Pineapple, it goes on pizza and anyone who disagrees is now banished to the Shadow Realm. Oh, Rue. It's okay, you just gotta accept it, man. I'll put it in there, of course. You paid for it with points, man. It's yours now. It's going in. But, uh, it goes on pizza. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't go on pizza. Shit! <laughs> We're gonna end up dying. I'm not paying enough attention to the actual fight here. My big froggy tongue. I'll get you with something you can't break. Let's see how you deal with steel. And don't even think of Rev rolling. What's that glowing thing in his mouth? Ooh, I, I wonder what the glowing thing in his mouth is. Uh, so we shouldn't do this? <laughs> that right there? Ha, huh, you still said it? Never. It was a slip of the tongue. I didn't mean it. It meant nothing, and you know it. Oh, what? We took damage from that? Why'd we take damage from that? I guess when it was retracting, the thing hit us. But, like, bruh. That's not fair, though. Like, that's how you know the game's jank as hell. <laughs> the golden cherry. Look at that, man. Could you imagine biting into a golden cherry? Wouldn't feel so well, man. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't feel so well at all. So pineapple, it goes on pizza. Okay. Okay. 
Y'all fighting over here. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Spend all the points. Go for it. <laughs> uh, where is bot? Add command. I just did this two seconds ago. Why am I losing the stuff there? There we are. Command is... Pine Apple. It goes on pizza, except it doesn't. And anyone who disagrees is now banished to the shadow realm. Rue man. <laughs> It goes on pizza and anyone who disagrees is now vanished to the shadow. Oh, not shadow real. Shadow realm. There we go. Did I spell that right? S-H-A-D-O-W-R-E-A-L-M. I think that's it. Confirm. Oh, wait, nope. Advance. I got to put the cool down on it. There we go. Confirm. There we go. Do a exclamation point pineapple in chat. See what happens. That should get it to come up for you now. Your quote. You misspelled pineapple. <laughs> yeah, you gotta spell pineapple right for it to work. There it is. There you go. It works now. <laughs> Canes, you still here? Do you like pineapple on pizza? Uh, look, nobody likes pineapple on pizza, man. You two are just lying to yourselves. Like, it's okay. You don't have to, you don't have to be different in every way from everyone else, you know? It's okay to just accept that pineapple on pizza kind of sucks. Ooh. I remember this level. I remember liking the, this level, too. It's fun bouncing between, like, the different targets. I don't know what it is about it exactly, but it's just a fun time, man. Like, <laughs> and then uh, we should have like angled targets here at some point. Yeah, right here. And then it just it just uh, hit us between the different ones. Like, oh god, that was scary. I'm into it. Wait, what? <laughs> You're just gonna keep doing it now. It'll only work once every. I think it's 30 seconds is what I have the timer set to for it. I didn't want to have the user ones be, like, too restrictive, obviously. But I can't have them be like, oh, God. Just non-stop going off either. Oh, God. Okay, we made it. Woo! That was actually... I was kind of scared there. I'm not going to lie. That was, uh, that was real sketch for a single for a single one-up. Grab the checkpoint. Did you give me your calf pain? I mean, if I did, I didn't mean to. I will say my calves aren't hurting as bad now as they were earlier, so maybe I uh, accidentally did give you my calf pain somehow. I just don't understand where the calf pain came from. Because, like, I haven't done anything strenuous lately. Like, not even close. So why the hell are they hurting? Also, why are we getting so many more checkpoints on this level than we have all the other levels that we've played? This level ain't, like, any harder than the other levels. But we've already gotten two checkpoints and we've hardly even done anything. I mean, I guess if you're, like, really bad at platforming, getting between these different jumps could be a pain in the ass. I'd say as I damn near miss that jump. <laughs> okay, you're good for now? Alright. Sorry, man. It's there to be used. Have your fill. Yeah, you can do, uh, that one. You can do, uh, exclamation point pizza, of course. You're more than welcome to use that one, if you like. Uh, <laughs> there's also, uh, exclamation point PS2, of course, for, uh, the PS2 gauntlet one that comes up. There's, uh, what else is there? Ow, we took damage. <laughs> Nate showed up just in time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh no this is how your uh, our friendships end here or not like mine and yours but the friendship between Rue and Nate pineapple and pizza were the final straw 
It's just gonna be a never-ending battle of you two typing that back and forth at each other. I feel like there's other ones. I'm pretty sure there's a mini game, like a, uh, a betting game that you can play there too, or something. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure there was another thing you could do with uh, with points and the bot. I mean, I don't use the bot too often, to be honest. So I don't, <laughs> I don't really remember. But I'm fairly certain there was something else. What is this guy? Like, where are you going to send me? Aw. I didn't want to go over here yet. Damn it. I didn't realize it was going to send us all the way over here. I wanted to do the stuff over there. Man, now we're not going to 100% the level. Actual trash. I'm sorry, guys. I'm the worst. <laughs> you shall be victorious. I don't think, like, it really needs to be fought over, man. We all know that the best topping for pizza is just pepperoni. Pepperoni and cheese. That's all you really need. Everything else is just fluff. Besides, pineapple doesn't go on pizza. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, no! Holy. Bro, I thought we were dead for sure. Oh, there's one like in the. Oh, no. That's not in between the two. <laughs> okay. Let's get the fruit first, like from over here. And then we'll go back and try to get all the platforms in the middle. Like this. I just need to remember to kick early for it. Last one. Yes. Okay, wait. There's another fruit. We missed a fruit. How the hell did we miss a fruit? You had one job, Pac-Man. Collect the fruit. I don't like the way our camera is locked right now. Can I, like, recenter that maybe once I land? Thank you. Yeah, that's that's much nicer. Oh, shit. Bruh, <laughs> this section is scary as hell. Oh, my lord. I'm glad we got all the cherries. We're not going to get all the apples or whatever, because we left that area too early. Oh, no, there's ghosts. Ghosts everywhere. Y'all scared Kane off with the, uh... The Robert Pattinson masturbation talk? Probably, man. Y'all be weird sometimes. Especially that noodle character. I don't know about her, man. <laughs> Alright, I guess that was it. Four ghosts. That's all they had. Oh, this is like a... Like a maze, but not a maze. It's weird how the camera, like, unlocks whenever we get to the edges. Well, if we eat them here, they just die, right? Unlike the maze sections. Holy crap. Can you not, like, run away? <laughs> like, I know they're going to run away, but, like, they can fly over the different sections. I can't fly, man. Uh, okay. I think they're all dead now. That was the last of them. Rue agrees, probably. I don't even know why I'm trying to collect all the dots and everything. Oh, wait. That is all the dots. I was going to say, there's no way we're going to get them all because we fucked up that one part. But, uh, never mind. <laughs> I guess that was all of them. Oh. The air in my bedroom is crisp. Like a nice summer apple or spring, fall apple. When are apples, uh in season again i think he means because uh he's got that humidifier right he's probably talking about that oh we missed an arcade room maybe that was in that chest that we didn't get open i don't know how long this game is but i feel like we could probably beat this game in uh just a couple gaming sessions if we wanted to 
Uh, and I mean, it will be going on the list of games that I want to complete on stream at some point. Speaking of, um, Saturday, of course, we're going to be starting Resident Evil 3, um, as we've mentioned before. But I will be uh, doing not the Just One More Level podcast that I normally do with uh, my co-host Jonathan, my podcast that, that I do with him. Um, but my brother actually started a podcast uh, before I started mine and asked John to join, actually. Uh, I forget exactly how long before. But anyways, point is, um, the Gaming Cog podcast, we only ever did a couple episodes, though. But uh, we actually complete games and then and then talk about them on that one. And uh, he wanted to do Resident Evil 3 for it. And I told him that just happens to be the same day, or the same day, the same game that I'm going to be completing on stream. So at some point, we don't have like a date for when we're going to record or whenever it's going to go live or anything like that. But at some point, we'll be uh, recording that on probably on his channel or offline. I don't know what he wants to do. And then it'll go up on YouTube and, and whatnot. Me and him BSing about that. So that should be fun. If uh, anybody is interested in hearing me and my brother talk about some BS, uh, mostly Resident Evil games, actually. I think we've, we've done Resident Evil 1 and 2. We did one other game, too, I'm pretty sure, but I don't remember which one. So, <laughs> But yeah, no, it's a fun time. Not cold, just refreshing. Yep, yep, yep. I knew what you meant, at least. Noodle was a little confused, but I got gotcha. you. Damn, you hate to leave after only being here for so long, but I kind of got to get to bed. Hey, no problem, Rue. I appreciate you being here nonetheless. 30 seconds or 30 hours, man. It don't matter to me. I just appreciate you stopping in and saying hello, you know. Have a good night, man. And uh, I hope I see you tomorrow. Ow. I wish... There was some way for us to get that stupid saw to stop sawing my ass. <laughs> that would be nice. Hey, Nate, can you do me a uh, real quick flavor? Flavor? Favor? I don't know if uh, Rue is here anymore or not, but can you just uh, do a nice exclamation mark pizza for me real quick? Just uh, throw that in chat as I die. Just a, just a nice little exclamation part mark pizza. That's that's all I need. Just a little like, uh, yeah, pineapple don't go on pizza. Enough said. <laughs> oh, y'all are great. I mean, I agree. I can eat pe pineapple on pizza. Just to be clear, I can eat pineapple on pizza, but uh, I definitely don't prefer it. Like, 100% my... my my preferred pizza is just like pepperoni, maybe a nice stuffed crust or something like that. Although I do really like like Alfredo and bacon or chicken or something on it. Does it only work for the people who bought them? No, no, no. They're public. Anybody can use them. If, uh, if it starts becoming like a nuisance, like they're happening way too often, then I'll probably have them locked to like subscriber only or whatever. But, um, but yeah, no, they're, they're, they're mostly, mostly public. Uh, no spaces, love. <laughs> There you go. You figured it out. Also, this saw is really kicking my ass, man. Should not be this hard. I think it's because, like, the camera. Like, I can never see it coming. I should just jump off entirely whenever it's coming, like that. And then come back on over here. That's what I should do. But that would require me being decent at video games. It automatically did it. Yeah, that's the one thing with being on cell phones. It, uh... It likes to autocorrect. You stupid freaking saws, man. It's really not meant to be this hard. I'm just bad. Honestly, that's all it is. Where, oh, where is the power pellet? There's got to be a power pellet around here somewhere, right? To eat this damn ghost with. There it is. I see it. Oh, you're in for a world of hurt now, boy. Come here, you little ghosty bastard. Yeah. How's it feel to get eaten? <laughs> oh, no. That was scary as shit. <laughs> okay, so that's not a way we can go. We're Gucci. We're good. No problem. 
No problem, no worries. Look at that. Beautiful. I need to look at the bot and see what the uh, other commands are that I have enabled. I know there's, like, uptime. I think there's one for, like, what game you're playing, but I mean, like, it should be pretty obvious for that one, so I don't really go in and update that one or anything. If I even have it enabled, I might not even have it turned on. Because it's not like I'm playing a Mario ROM hack or anything like that where it could be, you know, something weird. I mean, there's definitely a few uh, PS2 games we've played that are relatively unknown, but I wouldn't call them weird, though, you know? Oh, man. Hey, thank you for another five bits, love. I really appreciate all the support tonight. All of that, all of you guys donating points for the uh, for the community stream. And, of course, for your little uh, war that you're having amongst yourselves. <laughs> uh, I ran right into that saw blade like a dumbass. Uh, Mr. Pac-Man, can you do me a favor and freaking not do that? Thank you. Oh. Every once in a while, I've had these little platforms mess up and me not make it to where I was supposed to go. And that's like the worst feeling ever. How far back is it gonna take us? All the way over here for a single coin? I gotta do it all over again. That's all right, that's not that bad. It's not that far, thankfully. But what we really need is some health because uh, we be hurting, boy. Health and another checkpoint. <laughs> What's this one do? Okay, just... That's actually where we need to go, I think. Your Hallmark transaction still says hold. I'm sorry, love. What was uh, Hallmark? Was that your other bag? Was from Hallmark, or... I don't remember what you had coming from Hallmark. I mean, ah, uh, fuck. I really want to get that one, but I, we'll probably die if we try again. Your Howler Cross White? Yeah, okay, so your other bag. I thought that's what you were talking about, but you know how my memory is. It's fucking trash, so. Uh, hopefully, we're close to 50. We are not. We need another 20 before we get a, uh, a bit of health. Just a taste of health, please, sir. That's all we need. And that's all the pack dots? No more? Hopefully that means we're really close to the end of the level then. No! Shit! Oh. Well, hey, at least we got all our health back, right? <laughs> Gotta look at the bright side, man. We got all our health back. And then almost instantly died again. That would have been great. Oh, what? No, I didn't even touch that saw. The game's cheating, guys. Don't believe it. It was canceled? Wait. Your howler or the other one? The one that you've been having trouble with? Yeah, so for anybody who doesn't know, like, you should never pre-order anything, really, from a fucking... Hot topic. Like <laughs> their service for pre-orders on 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 lounge fly bags at least is fucking trash. And apparently the Hallmark uh, <laughs> pre-order or not pre-orders, but apparently the Hallmark orders aren't that much better. I'm really sorry that it was canceled on you, love. She was super excited for that howler bag. It was the last one that they had, and yeah. I'm sorry, love. I hope uh. I hope you can find another one at some point, but I know that one was how hard to find out of stock. Yeah, I'm sorry, love. Wait, how did we not get this checkpoint last time? Did we not go this way last time? Is this like an alternate way to go? Oh, a whole nother life. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Can I like grab onto something? Okay, yeah, that. I feel like we should be able to grab onto that down there and maybe, like, shimmy our way around the tree, too. Right? But 
I don't know what's the point of shimmying our way around. Is there something hidden over here? No. Doesn't look like there's anything, at least. Oh, there's the arcade game. The, the maze. How much, have you checked like eBay or anything to see how much they're going for in like the secondhand market? Maybe they're not too unreasonably priced. I feel like they'll probably be a shit ton of money because you know, everything is. But it's worth checking at least though, right? I don't know why all of these places have such a hard time with like their pre-orders. Or not even pre-orders in the case of the Hallmark uh, bag order, right? That was just a regular order. Like, how do they... They should know what they have in stock and be able to ship them out and shit. It was just a regular order. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, that sucks. Like, could you imagine? I mean, I guess it probably happens more than we realize. With like, I was gonna say, could you imagine if Amazon or Walmart or something had those sorts of problems all the time? But, I don't know, maybe it happens more than we realize and it's just, you know, it just doesn't happen to us that often, so. We don't see it or something, I don't know. After you ordered it set out of stock, I know you ordered when it still said there was one left. Um, you had the last one, apparently, or you thought. But, like I said, I'm sorry, love, I hope, uh, I hope you can find another one. Are they still making them at least, or were they a limited edition that, that stopped being produced or something? You don't know? Like I said, we can uh, we can check on like eBay for you or something if, uh, if it turns out that that was a limited edition one and they're not making more of them. How did that kill me? No! We, were we out of health? I guess we were out of health. But I saw... Oh, there is a thing over there. I saw the, the one-up. I was just trying to go get the one-up. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to, like, take my time with it. I just wanted to go. Uh, it'd be really nice if I could see. Thank you, game. <laughs> so we need to... We need to just, like, freaking grab... Oh, that scared the hell out of me, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, <laughs> with as strong as the grab mechanics are in this game, like grabbing onto ledges, I shouldn't be that scared. But like, boy, it would really be nice if there was just a button like when you're close to the ledge to just drop down and grab it. Like how some games have, instead of it just, uh, you just have to rely on it grabbing for you. Um, okay, so we go, what, here? Oh, that was precarious as shit. But I think we're okay. I think we got this. This looks like the right way to go. Run, Pac-Man, run! We had that. And then I guess we go to the right, right? We went to the left last time and that's where we found all that shit at. I think. There's still that one. There's gotta be something we're missing to get that one up there. Maybe if you did it just right, maybe you could uh, get over there for it. But I'm not convinced that you can get it from that that ramp. Oh, speaking of uh, the gaming called podcast and everything that I was talking about earlier, he mentioned I don't know for sure if we're gonna end up doing this one or not. But he mentioned wanting to do the Mass Effect Legendary Edition because uh that is on the humble monthly for this month and i am subscribed to humble monthly because it's an amazing deal i highly suggest it for any pc gamer out there uh anyways and it's a game that i never actually got to finish is the the first mass effect game so we may end up doing that one on the podcast at some point too both not only like myself and john we might talk about it at some point but on the gaming cog podcast like a, a full play through the entire game review style thing so we missed one strawberry and that's it that's real annoying <laughs> that'd be awesome you love mass effect yeah i mean i've mentioned before i don't know who all here has heard the story but i i've played uh mass effect the first one i played it a fair bit actually and i did really enjoy it what i played of it 
The problem is that... Are we, like, immune to fire with the... Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Um, the problem is I lost my save file upon moving at one point, And I just kind of been hesitant to go back and play it again ever since I lost the save file. Because, like, I, I was angry that I lost it, basically, you know? <laughs> um, it was my own fault. I, I should have paid more attention before refreshing my PC before I had to move. Um, but I was, like, clear at the end of the game, man. Like, I had it completely beaten. And that's what's so annoying about it. It was just, like, like I had all the DLC for the game. I had played it all. It was done. The game was done. And then I had to move... So I refreshed my PC before I did the move. We were on that ledge. I call bullshit and lost the save after spending, I don't know, 60 to 100 hours or something like that on it. And uh, yeah. So, but with the Legendary Edition being out now, it seems like there's probably uh, never been a better time to play it, right? So give it a try again. Even if we don't end up doing it for the podcast or anything like that, I'm definitely going to give it a give it another shot. Give it a give it away, give it away, give it away now? Is that how it goes? I don't know. Just randomly popped in my head. Why aren't those fruits there when we have the metal thing? Climbing up this is a lot easier than climbing back down. I mean, I don't know why I'm so worried about getting a, like, a completionist run on this. It just, it feels right to collect everything. And I appreciate games like this where the completion isn't a bunch of like bullshit where it's perfectly obtainable i i really appreciate that you know so i think that's another reason why i just like feel like i need to grab everything because like why wouldn't you man it's right there it's haunting you hey pack dots we gladly hop on to talk about some mass effect yeah man for sure uh i didn't realize we were gonna catch on fire while doing this so <laughs> Apparently, we needed to be Metal Mario. Oops. That would have been good to know. Too late now. <laughs> Done lost to help. I feel like... I feel like they fucked that up a little bit. Like... It shouldn't have been that way. Oh, no, 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 no. See, like I said, them platforms sometimes fuck you over, man. You gotta be careful with that shit. Ooh, extra life. Very cool. Can we actually hang on to that rope? Do we have an apple? We have a cherry and an orange. That's an apple, so there's no point in going over there yet. Huh. Maybe this is like something we can go come back to? Oh, there's an apple over there. Can we make it that far, though? They're supposed to be doing an... Fuck! Supposed to be doing an ME4, like a proper one. I think uh, you, my brother, I'm pretty sure someone mentioned that to me before. You're hoping Andromeda 2 will be released also because you really like that? Yeah, I mean, I've heard mixed things about the first Andromeda game, but I think, generally speaking, more games are better as long as they're not being rushed, right? Rushed games are bad, but... <laughs> okay, we want to go just, like, right about here and then just let it fly. Don't touch a freaking thing. And I also want that apple. Thank you. And now we just got to figure out how to get back, if that's even possible. I really want to play through the entire series. So I, I love those kinds of RPGs. The only reason why I didn't after I lost my save, why I didn't play two or three, uh, even though I refused to play one, is because, honestly, I just wanted to carry my save over, right? Like, I had my save for... for, uh... for one, and I wanted to be able to... Oh, Jesus. I wanted to be able to take all of that progress, all my choices and everything with me to two and three, and I couldn't do that because I lost my save. Um, this is definitely the wrong way, isn't it? Oh, uh, no, I guess that was the right way. Huh, never mind. It was the start of a new trilogy, and trilogy, but had a rough start. Definitely had the roots to be an amazing saga. That's cool, man. said I, uh, I would be more than willing to check it out. Okay, so we can walk on the rope, but it's a little bit of a a tight walk, if you know what I mean. Tight rope, you get it? Because it's a rope. We're walking across it. Ooh, bouncy pad. 
bouncy pad. Ooh, bouncy pad. Ooh, bouncy pad. Ooh, bouncy pad. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh no, we gotta get to the top. It's one of those ones. Extra life, very nice. I wish we had just like a melee attack, right? It's like he can jump and do the spin kick or whatever, but it'd be nice if he could just like jump and, or not, not jump, just do an attack without jumping, what I was trying to say. Or charging up, because charging up I feel like is a great way to freaking die. Especially on these narrow platform log thingies, like, that's just asking for something bad to happen. Oh, fuck. Dude, I had a mini heart attack right there. I thought for sure we were dead. A uh, little bit awkward, some of these jumps. Okay, so then that one unlocked which one? Oh, right at the bottom. Duh, that makes sense. I gotta, I gotta focus on these jumps, man. I may have asked this before, but Nate, if you're still here, if you had to pick between uh, Dragon Age and Mass Effect, which would you say is your, uh, your favorite or your preferred RPG out of the two? If you don't mind me asking, anybody else who's here, if you've played those games and have a preference, feel free to uh, answer as well. I'm just curious what everybody's thoughts are on it. From what I've played of the two series, I personally think I like Mass Effect a bit more. But I've played more Mass Effect than I did Dragon Age. Holy. Okay, so we fucked that up. But we're still alive. <laughs> um, now that button's already been triggered. I don't think we can re-trigger this button up here. Okay, well, there's a checkpoint over there. So I guess we'll just get the checkpoint. Look, honestly, at this point, I'm lost as shit and have no idea where I'm going, so... I'm just doing things. <laughs> uh, and hoping that we're going the right way. See, I should be using the D-pad, especially when doing, like, the, the tightrope walks and shit like that. Because then you can, you can, you know, make sure that you're moving exactly straight. Don't actually have a fre preference between the two. They're both amazing. Sounds like a cop-out, man. I don't know. <laughs> so I need to play more Dragon Age. I need to play more both, obviously. But uh, I've only played probably, maybe, actually, halfway through the first Dragon Age game. Maybe. Whereas uh, I've played through, like I said, basically the entirety of Mass Effect. I just never got to actually finish it. Didn't get to do the, the very last mission. That's it. I did everything else in the entire game, except for that last fucking mission. Like, <laughs> makes me angry, man. Shit, that's a fun game. I need to get uh, Pac-Man World 1 on the PS1 so we can play that at some point, too. I know it's not a PS2 game, but, like, it's a lot of fun. Uh, at least Pac-Man World 2 and presumably 3, at least, are both a lot of fun. So I need to get the third or the first one. Holy shit, man! I can't think. Just to just to try it out and see if it's as good or not. I'm pretty sure I don't remember if it was Noodle or Dorseman or who, but somebody's told me that like the the first one was a bit a bit harder, maybe a bit uh a bit more rough around the edges than the other ones. But like, it's good shit. I really like it. Uh, before we go, because we are gonna have to start wrapping up the stream. But before we go, I wanted to see what other commands there were here. So you have uptime, you have game, which I never get on to edit, so... Uh, but I think it I think it will automatically take the game from what we have, uh... Yeah, 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 what we have in the thing, so... Playing Pac-Man World 2. Oh, blind, yeah. So you can do, like, exclamation point blind for... Like, don't give spoilers. Uh, title. It, that's just the stream title. Oh, you can do, uh, exclamation point follow age. Try that one out, guys. I can't do that one, because it's not for me. But it'll tell you how long you've been following for. Oh, and then, uh, for the challenge runs that I was doing, 
I haven't, uh, I want to redo those at some point, but again, no time right now. But, uh, we had the game rules one for, for that, to get the rules. Which was nice. But yeah. And then, uh, what else is there? Like I said, there's other stuff, though. There's betting that we can do. There's, uh, maybe I don't have the game enabled, but... There's like a game one here too somewhere, like a game thing you can do. Nate Alistair 96 has been following stream on the Steam for four months and one hour. <laughs> I had no idea it tracked down to the hour. That's pretty cool. I don't think, uh, I'm assuming since I'm, you know, the owner of the account, I'm assuming it won't work so well for me. Yeah. <laughs> L a little broken for me personally. <laughs> oh, geez. All right. Well, guys, looks like it is the perfect time nice. to wind down. So, oh, it, um, why didn't that one work for you, Noodle? That's weird. You might want to try that one again, unless the, the bot died. The bot does die sometimes, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, go ahead and try that one again. Maybe, uh... It may be, like, locked from going off too often. Okay, yeah, it can only be done once every 10 seconds. So... For one year and four months. I was gonna say, really, is that it? But then I remembered that, like, you didn't even have a Twitch account until probably one year and four months ago. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, guys. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and call it there for the night. I do hope to see y'all uh, tomorrow around 630, give or take a few minutes, and then we'll hang out for a bit and play some games together, man. It should be a lot of fun. I hope to see you all there. You made one to surprise me. Yep, because you're the best. Uh, get some stream love in the chat. I really wish I could get a better emote name than that, but uh, stream six eight eight love one. That's a <laughs> that's hell of a hell of a name there, emote name. But anyways, guys, again, thank you. I hope to see you tomorrow, and have a wonderful night, everyone. Bye bye.